Hi, morning to you ladies, my name is Assassin, and welcome back to Sucker for Love, Date to Die For, where we're on to, um, I, the final chapter, I'm pretty sure, which is chapter 1000. Okay, actually, I'm just gonna start a new date, because I think it skipped some, over some of the dialogue, so, yeah. Um, we ran into a new character, I think, which was like a weird something. Uh, something is very wrong. Did I doze off while reading? My daydream, my daydream always turns into a regular dream when I do. Is this what I was, uh, was reading? I've got to, got to get home. I'm sorry for falling asleep in your store, but I got to get... Oh. Hi, boob. I mean, uh... Oh wait, did she just hang herself? Something or someone hung themselves right next to me while I was sleeping. Wait, so the book reader isn't a character? Or not, not a character, but I thought they would be like one of the, the big bads. Well, now I'm sad. Is that Mew? Did Buck get to her? I feel sick, so, so sick. The floor slips under my feet and I fall back hard. Loudly knocking books to the ground. I assume they're books. I can't see anything. Everything goes black. What an awful hey, hey, wake up, you! So, so, the book reader. Is an octopus? Sorry. Squid tentacle. What? Oh my gosh, did I break the human? Stupid, stupid, stupid! I, are you an alien? Uh, <clears throat> no, I'm a mysterious, sexy librarian type. Look past my aloof and distant nature and fall in love with me, I I mean, yeah, you, you, you were a sexy librarian, and now you're an alien, and I don't know about, or not alien, but tentacle monster thing, and I'm sorry, but I've seen enough hentai <clears throat> to know that this will not end well, so I'm gonna have to strongly decline. An alien playing with a corpse in front of me. An alien is playing with a corpse in front of me. This can't be real. I must be dreaming. So. Not a dead body. Probably. <laughs> Just a doll I use to interact with humans. Oh, uh, and, yeah. That, that's fine. I, I thought it was a dead body for a second. A doll. It makes it all less weird and creepy. <laughs> Right. Could I have been so fine? Oh, sorry, I'm just so blinded by your beauty. You know, wow. Shagoffs, huh? Plural. There isn't more than one of you just walking around on Earth. We live where all the undiscovered nightmare fuel hangs out. Bottom of the Pacific Ocean. Not my fault you guys went to space before 100%ing your own planet. <laughs> hey. Fuck you. <laughs> We're like a hundred miles from the ocean. What are you even doing all the way in the countryside? Okay. Oh my fucking god. <laughs> What a trivial reason. <laughs> you know, I think that I would have heard of the news about a giant tickle monster roaming through the country. <laughs> you think so? <laughs> I'm a master of disguise and an expert on human linguistics. Uh. I've studied your culture extensively from the water, and I've mastered every language and can speak them in any accent. <laughs> <laughs> it's 
not funny guys <laughs> it's really not don't don't even <clears throat> don't <laughs> don't laugh <laughs> wow oh, wow it's like you're a real cowboy thank you. Thank you. <laughs> though to be honest i only learned to read speak and write your languages so i could read your human books they're far superior to cosmic scriptures don't get me started on the localizations okay okay but that seems like a lot of effort My complex motives are far beyond mortal comprehension cool 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 great i'm gonna just <sighs> also what is this it's like a mouth but like a stomach tentacle I thumb idly along the spines of the book written in English. They have suggestive titles. You learned every human language just so you could consume all of our smut. <laughs> Maybe they weren't as complex. <laughs> you also make life like human models. Learned every language that's human speak. I, 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 <laughs> <laughs> Look around the store, a lot of these books are Eldritch, Curious, and Lore. But some of these books... Big Slippery Shug Off Girlfriends Volume 2 My Little Night Gaunt Can't Be This... But the iron... <laughs> Deep ones. They explore the stories about love between humans and Eldritch entities. I didn't know these kinds of books even existed. Did she make all these? And aren't you the one who's been writing my ultra dangerous reality bending ritual book? Jesus Christ. Sorry, I'm just having tr trouble wrapping my head around that. They seem so, like, too completely dis. Potent skills? I raise an inquisitive in in eyebrow. Wait a minute. So you make smut books fantasizing about humans and Eldritch gods meeting, and then I also are make spell books that allow humans and Eldritch gods to meet in real life? Can you though? Go ahead. Yeah, you can. <laughs> I've got nothing. I'm a disaster. <laughs> you indirectly summon reality ending gods or gods to our realm just so you could watch them date humans? I'd say I pretty directly summoned them actually. <laughs> also, why the heck did you make the rituals so freaking scary? The rituals for an outer god. <laughs> They're all scary. Well, if you're supposed to be helping me, why do you put the most important ritual at the very end? What? The uprooting ritual? Yeah. Eldritch rituals are so <laughs> Doing them out of order could cause who knows what. <laughs> and it's not like I've been asleep in the field. I've been changing the book each time I find a potential <laughs> safer path to uprooting. But there's only so many options when humans outright can't produce some sounds. For many incantations. <laughs> I haven't had a problem so far. Wash, wash, wait. Okay, you made your point. All I was trying to say is that it's a cryptographic marvel that you can consistently perform these rituals. <laughs> and that I'm a genius. Yes, That's all I'm really trying to yeah. say. Oh, is that all? <laughs> She likes rituals, and the scarier they are, the faster you fall in love. <laughs> well, I mean, then you say I do really like Roxy. She's 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 kind of cute. She's like, just she gets sweat. That's not how that works at all. Totally worked. Roxy likes you. Like she likes you. Oh, she's got it bad. Ah, uh, <laughs> tell me more. How much does she like me? <laughs> <laughs> really? <laughs> oh yeah. I'm writing fanfics of the two of you right now. This stuff is hot. <sighs> Let's see. Pax. Pining. 
slow burn. One sided. <laughs> just stop it. Stop it. Just stop it. Just no. Stop. Stop. <laughs> it's not one sided. It's not. No. no. Wait, I mean, well, she's really gorgeous and. <laughs> Wait, no! Oh god, stop it! <laughs> I hate to kill the fun, but a lot of people have gotten really hurt because you made this book and claim me. It was never supposed to be like this. I thought only good things could come from summoning Roxy to your world. She just wants Earth to be one big happy family. And she's a wonderful mother. Yeah, tell that to all the dead people back there. And you just I see the, the, the like, there's just like a roll of dead bodies and just saying. <laughs> when I suggested that humans and Eldritch entities belong together. In fact, she agreed with me. We made the book together. An all-in-one ritual book. <laughs> spells that would make the perfect date. Plus an abort button. The abort ritual. In case a human needed to be rescued from Roxy. We picked the perfect human together, too. A young, handsome human man who had already spent so much time and money fruitlessly trying to contact Roxanne on his own. He flew through the rituals, started a huge family in her worship, and grew the thousand to such a size that the whole world was under Roxanne's influence. Wait, is she talking about... Because in the first game, um, there was a guy that... What was her name? Was it Lilith? No. There was a guy, you played as a guy that did the same thing, summoned like, like a Cthulhu thing and a person, whatever. Is she talking about the, that guy or probably not? He never really clicked like I had hoped, but he had his god and Roxanne had her family. They were so, so happy and carefree. But you should never be carefree when dealing with cosmic forces beyond reckoning. <laughs> he later died that day. At some point, Buck decided to steal a smooch out of the <laughs> completely out of order and without consulting the ritual book first. Oh, so it wasn't that guy. Instead of causing some obscure ritual to fail disastrously, something far worse happened. He accidentally performed a certain ritual perfectly by <laughs> bad luck. The kiss of immortality. <laughs> was sealed with the smooch he stole. He tried everything to reverse his immortality. When nothing worked, he changed. So many people, so many humans that Roxanne considered her children. All these realities later, he's still tormenting her. I don't know if it's revenge or if he's got some other plan in mind, but he's never going away. What a big fat screw up this was. If Roxy of all the gods can't find happiness with a human, <clears throat> there's no hope for any of us cosmic entities. Between you and me, Roxy is the hottest one in the family by far. <laughs> oh, that's what I was saying. <laughs> so, that's why I'm trusting you with my books. I hope it's not too weird to say, but I think after seeing you time and time again, that I should have given you the book to begin with. <laughs> well, I'm glad the book eventually found its way to me, but it's like a past baton. Every leg of the sprint leading up to me was significant and worthwhile. And if I've got to pass it on again, I think I'm okay with that. But I also think it would really like to be the... I, what? I would really like to be the one that gets to cross the finish line. The one who gets to show Roxy how far we ran together. Okay, Uh, ah, hey! And end up together already? Okay. Wait, that's the same ritual that Buck did. 
every time a permanent this, is, this means I'll never die no matter what yeah, you do what even when reality ends again I will, will I end up like bug? Is this a bad idea? Nah, it's probably fine. Holding in this sinister page fills me with palpable dread. This ritual is what started all this. It's what caused Buck to go mad. It's what turned a thousand against Roxanne. It's what made every reality a nightmare. It's what caused me to suffer and perish countless times. But it's also what brought me to Roxanne. I think this is it. I think it's the key to ending all of this for good. It, it's how I can stop Buck and uh, have the nightmare. Or love with not love? I don't know. Not exactly. Once I cast this, my fate will be the same as Buck's. There's no take backs. But I have the heart to live with the what I'm given. No take backs needed. I'm ready to accept what great heights and lows eternity has in store for me. If you give love, it comes back. If I embrace eternity, eternity will embrace me. Alright, now I'm really pumped. No more baton passing. I'm going, Roxy. I'm going. Are you going? Oh, wait, Jose. Looks scary looking. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, yeah. I know that I'm scary too, but I can't just run into the unknown like humans can. Shuggoths aren't brave like you are. I'm the only one that even left the sea for crying out loud. Don't worry. You don't have to come. I have your book. That's all I need so far. That's all I need. Huh? Hell yeah! No sign of him, anybody. They're all dead. This could be the end of my life as a mortal, couldn't it? But then I'd have eternity with Roxy. All in all, I have to be here uh, after it's been a blast, and whatever is ahead, I know there'll be something to love. Sucker for love, if you will. Okay. Roxy, I'm coming! There's no one in the house. No need to worry. Fuck. You didn't go out. Huh. Something seems a little bit different. I swear I didn't have the cosmic outer space when I decided to buy this house. Oh well. Time to go upstairs and kiss Roxy. Roxy. I'm coming. And dump in the door. Roxy, yeah, you got some Roxy, Roxy, not here. Okay, so I'm gonna tell you. Oh, for fuck's sake. Uh, there doesn't any other candles. Uh-huh. There's a idol. Uh-huh. 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 Get him. Sorry, it took me a while. Hey. It's okay, Roxy. <laughs> <laughs> Buck is the only remaining member of the thousand. Are you gonna be a dead member? Are you ready for what's to come? <laughs> yeah. It's only hitting me just now that this kiss of immortality thing, isn't it kind of asking to marry her? <laughs> I was saying to view her forever, still a kiss, no tape. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know, I'm fine with that. I'm just gonna say it. I'm <laughs> to for wow. All in this book feels like fumbling with an engagement ring in my pocket. I, 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 I why, 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 I'm fine. God, I am fine. It's out of here. So for some reason, doing all these rituals a thousand times, it just seems like it's getting a little bit hot. <laughs> what? Me? Nervous? Never. <laughs> you don't even know. The fireflies of my stomach are building on into fine unbearability. Just as I'm about to fall, I only breathe blow the breezes in my room, carrying a fast stench that fills my lungs. I fall over and I'm dead. My eyes. Sting of water gets out of me. The fuck? Something didn't. That is the monster that I saw in my premonition. He's here. I can sense him. You've got book. Uh, what book? Got it. Now or never. I propped myself up one knee and opened the page to kiss a room or tell the really. Get that. Moo! 
It's just not what I was so Was I not supposed to ha have this? Is this a bad? I thought I had to say something, say plan, but my mind is completely banged with nerves. Say something, anything. Actually, I, I only exist because you dream about me. Without you, there'd be none of me. And when I look back on my life, it was pretty shit. I'm not even gonna lie. It was, it was pretty, I was living by just a threat. I, you know, all I did was play video games and upload YouTube videos. Who would want to watch that? Am I right? <laughs> but when I met you, everything changed. <laughs> and all the things that I got to see and do, it take me forever to say thank you. So I will. Box inside the house. I swear I locked the front door when I came in here. I've got to get going. Think about it, okay? I'm gonna get started on it, but I won't finish it if you don't have to say yes, okay? Okay. Here we go! <laughs> I'm fucked! <laughs> one verse one. I've got only one ritual to get through. Let's do this, bitches. Start the kiss I meant. What page was it? Uh... One sec, Buck. Okay, that's it. God damn it. Wait, I gotta survive for how long? Oh, you have to be kidding me. Am I dead? Don't be dead. Don't be dead. Don't be dead. Don't be dead. Oh god, thank god. Alright, the flowers should have bloomed by now. I just need to get back. Oh. Was that Roxanne? Scream, I gotta get back. Thank fucking god. Oh, so you lay a hand on Roxanne. Oh, buddy, you're gonna be in for a fucking time because I'm about to put you. I don't care if you guys are immoral. I'm gonna put you, about to put you through 7,000 aches of pain. Yeah. Seriously, though, where the fuck do I go? I mean, I know I, I gotta go. How did I get there? Uh huh. I know you're dying. It's, it's very confusing. This whole house is a mess. Right, Ed? Hi. Hey, lovebird. Uh, hi. Stardust. What are you doing to her? Scaring her awake. Now that you're here. <laughs> Easier. I want to be so angry, but I can't be angry than I am frustrated and confused. Why Why would you do this? Tormenting us isn't going to change a thing. Why can't you just face the reality that you're immortal already? The reality is that I'm immortal. I couldn't care less. What? If the eternal sleeper wakes up, the end. Immortality or not. I vaguely remember reading something about that in Mia's library. Once again, one or once a god that dreams all of the other, other gods into existence and by existence. Oh, there he is. Wait, that means you're talking about ending everything. Everything, everything? How is tormenting Roxanne supposed to do that? Why are you punishing her? Make her scream loud enough that the sleeper hears it. If she doesn't, maybe another god will. Any god that learns that I exist will start having nightmares too. Once I'm in their head, it's sheet clutching nightmares forever. I'll never stop. You're kind of a dick. Like, I get you tech. I was gonna say, I get like you're immortal, but it's your fault. You wanted to do the fucking thing in the first place. I don't care. I only need one screamer. I'll find them eventually. I'm human. The ultimate persistence predator. <laughs> Jesus Christ. You would have gotten away with it. Yeah. <laughs> for this meddling cat. <laughs> hey, Nanyan. Hello, handsome. Uh, Nanyan. Terrorize my granddaughter. Yeah, yeah. Hunter. You so tortured my niece. <laughs> I respect that. My silly flock of hands could use a good browbeating. But trying to speak to the eternal sleeper? Come now. That is the duty of a god. Not a human <laughs> I will articulate to you the difference. What a lucky break, I can't 
I can complete the kiss. Wait a minute, if Auntie Nanyan brings Buck into her dream, she's going to start getting nightmares too. Buck's going to end up in the mind of the god who talks directly to the Eternal Sleeper. That's exactly what he wants. Good, he's free. Was that a bad idea? Good, he's free. It's now or never. I never had a bad dream in my life, but I had dreams so wonderful that it woke me up from the best part. And if I become immortal, I'll survive through the, her waking up this time. Roxanne, I don't have time to say it now, but I when I will have, uh, but will I, but will when I have forever to say. I didn't get to press the button though. There's a giant smooch button right there. You already said it. Time after time. <laughs> I love you too. I love you too, Roxanne. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> so yeah. Okay. <laughs> oh. Is that the second kiss of Immortal? No, just a regular one. <laughs> Stardust. Since I met you, I wondered how I could be so lucky. <laughs> suddenly, like a bright star in the darkest sky. Go on. I think it's because, despite everything, I never stopped believing in good. That someone like you had to exist somewhere. <laughs> and you did. You are the good that I had to exist somewhere in this infinite cosmos. You're fading into white. One second. Stardust. You're the most wonderful thing I could have ever dreamed up. <gasps> I'm a blunt! Aw, oh, she's crying. Thank you. My daughter. <laughs> <laughs> No, no, <laughs> Oh, it is Lynetta. Oh, that's hey, the blah, blah, blah. That's what I was talking about. Do you want to hear about it? <laughs> what happened to the other girl? But you never wanted to <laughs> the what's my call? The girl in yellow. I had my reasons. I didn't want to fill your head with fear of humans. Now I can tell you about love. Love. Hey, there she is, Esther. Hard to believe, I know, but I believe in time you just might come to love them too. So actually, not. I wonder if that's how. No, maybe. I don't know. Cause like, is that how Sucker for One, or is this like the prequel? To sucker for level one, I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> oh, keep it down, Nanyan! Sleep well? <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. They have, oh, that's crazy. That's cool. They have their own, like, own, like, outer space castle. <laughs> huh. Are you telling me to choose? Stardust. Oh shit, I fuck. Sorry. Where are we? Space between dreams. Get comfortable. I don't want to be comfortable. I'm here with you. Not very comfortable. Are you gonna try and kill me? Just get to sit here and stare at each other until the next dream starts. Wow, that is forever. Just you. Ah. <laughs> I'll get the bookmaker, or I'll get caught by Nyamathotep, or I'll go back to my original plan. What if I kill you? I know you're immortal, but. I you can't do any of that now. I'm here and I'm not going away ever again. Hell yeah, Stardust. Do you even know what you're in for? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I made my choice. You was stupid. I think I'm true. I, I think in. Yeah, I think 
In a truly infinite cosmos, you will find exactly what you're looking for eventually. You looked for cruelty in a cosmos of infinite volume and found in no short supply. But you know what, Buck? When the dream starts again, I'm going to run barefoot through the grass. I'm going to watch scary movies. I'm going to go, go, to, go yeah, I'm going to love, be joyous, and move, ever, learn, cry, and feel so much that I, all of that is worth it. That's what I did when I was mortal. That's what I'll do now. <laughs> You'll still be able to experience any of those things. <laughs> the clock's always ticking, Buck. And when it runs out, ashes, ashes. You're dead. Nothing. Nada. Just bust bones and dust. <laughs> stardust. <laughs> stardust. <laughs> but there's things out there worth seeing before that happens. Things that will make it worthwhile, I swear it. You know what? Come on. You take the void is infinite, right? And I bet there's an infinite number of things that'll make life worthwhile too, even out there. Stop me when you see it. Wow, it's Tarda. She's shooting, or she's farting stars. Wow. <laughs> I guess life is crazy. And here I was, just a normal lonely human. <laughs> Before you know it, I met an amazing woman named Roxanne. Dedicated to my brilliant wife, Caroline Hunter. You make a real sucker for love. Ah! <laughs> wow, I'm not gonna lie, this game was great. <laughs> I, I get uh, like, it's, it's mainly like, oh, there's actually singing, that's cool. Uh, I, I mainly was making fun of it because, I don't know, it's just more like fun that way. But overall, it was actually a lot of fun. Like the story was, it was cheesy sometimes, but that that was still fun. I love the characters and uh, yeah, I, I, overall I liked it. Kaylee Mills. And Michael Laws. Are they the same people that I'm assuming they're the same people that voiced the, the original one? I don't know. Um, I'm actually curious what would happen if, like, uh, he, uh what's my call it? Uh, why, why can't I fucking think? If you went back and, like, let Buck into Nanyan's night or dream, like, what anything that would be. Um, but, is there, I don't know, I guess I, I just wait. Aww. We're flying through an infinite void. I'm not gonna lie, I'm actually really a fan of this ending. Oh. Huh? Okay. Yeah. And I'm not any closer to seeing it all. Yeah. It's like you shouldn't have tried killing people. Oh, looks like a new dream is finally starting. Ready to go, Duke. <laughs> Duke. I thought she was calling him Duke instead of Buck or I don't know. Out again. Later. I think I prefer to stay out here. Wow, he has a new perspective on life. Peaceful. It'll take me a while to see everything. Thank you. Roxanne, I can't wait to see what you've dreamt up now. Come outside, Stardust. Oh, it's my house, not all the horrors. Roxanne, I'm gonna be out there. Or is he gonna be like a new nightmare? Like, <laughs> I'm a new villain. You thought you could simply escape? I won't allow it. I went the complete opposite way. That's not a good start. Oh my god! Wow, they're so beautiful. Not all death and misery. Where am I going? Not that way. Okay. Roxanne, I'm lost. Even after all these chapters, I still can't find the fucking way out. One sec. Ah! Oh, Nani! But, ah! Ah! <laughs> I'm sorry. I didn't mean to scare you. It's been so long since we saw you. Nanny, how many times have we ambushed her? Of course she'd be jumpy. It's the people I say. Are the idols gonna be here too? I said he was 
sorry. I couldn't think of anything better to shout while I jumped out. Why did you have to jump out? <laughs> Nanny, Billy, kid, you're all here. And none of them have to stay. Of course, silly. Where else would we be? It's not like we can just <laughs> go in the woods. <laughs> but now that we've pretty much covered the whole planet, we can go everywhere. I can finally go shopping in Paris. Oh. I fuck everyone over by having no list. And I'll be able to go on a world tour. My fans will love it. And oh, Billy, you simply must come with me on a tour. <laughs> I'll need a bodyguard, and you're perfect for the role. I'd rather eat. <laughs> Billy, Frankie. <laughs> Sorry. I didn't get enough violence out of my system before peace broke out. Oh, yeah. You should see outside, Stardust. Everything's different. It's a whole new world waiting to be re-explored. No reason to ever come back to this old place. Hey, this was my house once. Can we please get out of here already? The wallpaper's peeling, the floorboards are rotting, and I'm pretty sure I just saw a rat that <laughs> of a chihuahua run by. Not enough of this gross old house to last a lifetime. This is her childhood home. Yeah, thanks, Billy. It is pretty shit, though. Oh, uh, <laughs> uh, it's, uh, <laughs> nice. Wait, wait, wait. You knew that she lived here? I spent forever <laughs> trying to figure that out. Why did you help me or, or leave me a note or something? I was your boss. <laughs> What's your one rep max on bench press? <laughs> Guys, if it's all the same, I might take a moment to say goodbye to this place. I'll be outside and say. No worries. The rest of your family already got their chance to pack up and say their goodbyes. Wait, what? Barry, you get your turn. My family's here too? Yeah. They're totes outside. Your folks are like really hitting it off with Roxanne. <laughs> I mean, yeah, it's Ro wait, Roxanne's here? Color me shocked. Who could have possibly expected that a goddess of fertility <laughs> and a married couple with 10 kids? <laughs> but, like I said, no rush. Especially if you don't want to get caught in the crossfire of their grandkids discussion. Yeah. Take all the time you need. We'll wait for you. Wow. Just like that, all the people who tried murdering me and killed me multiple times when I respawn, they're all my friends now. Trio steps out into the daylight, leaving me to what it will likely be my last goodbye to this house. Is there really anything to do here? Wait. Wait. I think... I think you can meet Nanyan for the final time or something. Uh, you know I gotta see it. Yeah, I get it. She's in the attic. Once I find where that attic is. Right, the basement. Well now, aren't you just full of surprises? When you first stumbled into these woods, cheeks wet with tears of rage, your only desire was to see these twisted trees burn. For a moment, I thought you'd forgotten your quest so easily, in exchange for a flutter of lashes and a flash of thigh. Thigh? Seems I may have misjudged your resolve. A mistake I do not often make. Those seeking to destroy the Black Woods inevitably become compelled to worship it. That boastful promise is printed in every version of this contemptible book. Will you prove them liars and burn them down in a fit of mortal defiance? What? Or will you prove them right and spend your immortal days simpering at my niece's cloven hooves like a love-struck <laughs> Hey, did you just call me a simp? Cause that might be right. The agony of indecision suits you, little matchstick. Though I do hope you choose to burn it all down. I've never cared for happy endings. Or goodbyes, for that matter. <laughs> Ta-ta. You know, you're a real asshole. Well, that would probably be a very great ending. <laughs> You know, watches everything goes up in flames and everyone dies and stuff.
Oh, but I don't really want that. I, I, I just want to spend an eternity with Roxanne. Shut up, Jingles. All right. Bye-bye. Ah! Wow! Thanks for playing! Oh, that's actually an achievement. Oh! Everyone's so happy and not dead. <laughs> now time to get the other ending where everything's up in flames and they're all dead and screaming. <laughs> wow. So beautiful. Date to die. Well then, um... Goodbye, oh... <sighs> wow! Ah, I don't know why I'm getting so emotional about this game. God, that, that, that is going to be it for Saga for Love, Day to Die for. Again, uh, I had a lot more fun than I thought I would. I, I mainly just got it because, well, you know why. Let's not get ourselves, you know why. <laughs> um, but it, it turned out to be a really fun game. And uh, I, honestly, it's a lot better than the uh, first game. Like, uh, uh, the first game was good, but this one is a lot more, like, spookier and, and everything. And I, I don't know. Really liked it a lot. Let me know what you guys thought. But, uh, yeah. That's gonna be it for me. Hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, don't forget to punch that like button in the face like a pirate. Also, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And I will see you guys in the next video.